Studios is gearing up for a robust future following the release of Transformers Rise of the Beasts. While the confirmation of Transformers 8 and 9 indicates ongoing excitement for the live-action series, it's crucial to note that the development of these sequels hinged on the performance of Rise of the Beasts. Despite making $438.6 million against a $195 million budget, the film ranks as the lowest box office earner in the franchise. Critically, it stands third with a 52% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, following Bumblebee and the first Transformers movie. Rise of the Beasts faced challenges such as audience confusion, franchise fatigue, and suboptimal release strategies, contributing to its box office downturn. However, Paramount's early announcement of Transformers 8 and 9 more than a year before Rise of the Beasts' release suggests a high level of confidence in the film's success. Beyond these sequels, the Transformers universe is expanding with various projects in production or planning stages. 1. Transformers 1, 2024 An animated prequel narrating the origin story of Cybertron, Megatron, and Optimus Prime. 2. Transformers Earthspark Season 2 the second season of Paramount Plus's animated series. 3. Transformers Rise of the Beasts 2, a direct sequel continuing the storyline from Rise of the Beasts. 4. Transformers 9, the third installment in the new live-action trilogy following Rise of the Beasts. There are also potential future Transformers projects. 1. Untitled Angel Manuel Soto Film, announced in March 2021, a live-action movie separate from the current timeline. 2. Untitled Transformers The Last Night Sequel, a rumored continuation of the Bayverse Transformers movies, initially slated for a 2019 release. The Transformers franchise remains dynamic, with an array of animated and live-action content in the pipeline, showcasing Paramount's commitment to the beloved series. Now, let's get to the main point. After a prolonged absence of key Autobot characters from the franchise, Transformers 8 presents an ideal opportunity to reunite Optimus Prime with his original team. Following a five-year hiatus, the Transformers franchise returned to the big screen, making Transformers 8 the opportune moment to bring together Optimus Prime's classic team. Since its inception in 2007, the Transformers movie series has evolved over 16 years, producing seven films. The introduction of Transformers Rise of the Beasts served as both a reboot and a sequel to the Bumblebee movie. While the initial five films were directed by Michael Bay, the subsequent films, including Bumblebee and Rise of the Beasts, ushered in a new era with different directors, while maintaining ties to Bay's work. The newer films unfold chronologically before Bay's Transformers projects, resulting in not only varied human characters, but also different Autobots. The infusion of new Autobots has injected a renewed energy into the franchise, contributing to a partial reboot. However, the absence of some classic Transformers characters for an extended period leaves a void that demands attention. Despite Optimus Prime's consistent presence as the Autobots leader, Transformers 8, even if steering in a new direction, should consider reassembling the original team and reintroducing <laughs> beloved classic characters. Transformers 8 should reintroduce some of the franchise's iconic Autobots to collaborate once again with Optimus Prime. Several classic characters, absent from the movie series for more than a decade, present an opportune moment for their return. With the soft reboot in the Transformers timeline, characters like Ironhide, Ratchet, and Jazz can be seamlessly brought back into the fold. The earlier setting of the new films, predating Michael Bay's movies, provides a narrative avenue for resurrecting Autobots, who were previously written off in the series. The Transformers franchise has undergone notable changes, including the transformation of Bumblebee's character following Michael Bay's departure. Given that Bumblebee has had his own movie and significant character development, the new films have the potential to reintroduce classic Autobots while infusing a fresh perspective. This strategic move could engage older viewers who may not have closely followed the recent installments. By incorporating these familiar characters, the franchise can evoke a sense of nostalgia from earlier films while simultaneously steering in a new direction, a promising approach for the future of the Transformers movies. In one year, the Transformers franchise faces a significant cinematic challenge that could reshape its future. Transformers 8, set for release in 2024, 
represents a departure from the usual formula, presenting a unique opportunity for the franchise. While there's a call to bring back older Autobots to add familiarity and depth, it's equally crucial not to overlook the importance of retaining the franchise's newer heroes. Mirage, a standout character from Transformers Rise of the Beasts, left a lasting impact, emerging as one of the film's prominent figures. Similarly, RC, a popular new Autobot introduced in both Bumblebee and Rise of the Beasts, has gained substantial traction among Transformers enthusiasts. These newer characters play a vital role in propelling the franchise forward. While the return of classic Autobots adds a sense of completeness to the team, the inclusion of newer heroes is instrumental in infusing freshness and distinctiveness into the rebooted series. Striking the right balance between the old and the new could be the key to making Transformers 8 one of the most significant and successful movies in the entire series. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comments section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you at the next one.